Hey guys, it's me, The Nutch. I'm bringing you another uh, showing off my own Final Fantasy fan games. This one is called Kingdom of Hell. Now, this one I actually thought more for the story, except the characters play. No, wait, I mean, that's a lie. I knew, know how these guys work. Now, this is the first map, well, game. Like you can tell. Right there. How this one's supposed well I'll tell you guys this one's backstory. Well story. Game story, whatever. You are from a small city. Well, village, and you lost a bet to your friend, so then you have to spend five nights in the king's castle. Which this has a big long story. Basically, you just survive against the king. For night one, you fight against the king's footmen. You can escape them. Night two, you fight against the knight, which you technically cannot hide. Well, hide in the closet. Three, you fight against the jester. Four, you unlock the basement and then you fight against the executioner and the wizard. The, then the rest, you fight the king. Now, I actually thought of four endings for the game, too. But a bunch of them you have to do stuff in the old games too. Like for number one you have to rescue the prisoner from this one. And then after that, the second one, you don't really have to do anything, just survive the game, pretty much. Number two should be right here. And number two you are in a small little store place. Like you can see what the sign says, number two. Number two, you fight against the knight, the archer, the life dragon, the life ar assassin, and the king again. How they work? The archer will be in this tree. If you hear noises, run into a building or the mine. The knight, either run into a building and pretend you're working, or just be in the mines. The dragon, go in the mines you'll be safe. And the king, he summons soldiers, like the first one. The assassin, if you see a guy inside a building, don't go into it. And then you also fight against the working miners, because they don't like company, so you can't stay in the mines for too long. And that's number two. Number three, which is right here. You fight against the fire dragon, which they, she has a name, Alice Fire, the Knight, the Archer, the Earth Assassin, and the Wizard. This is the map. This one, again, I've been upgrading it too. This one, you actually need to go in the mines to get stuff, if you want to survive longer. So you need to pick up an axe and mine, pretty much only diamonds and emeralds. It's like you see, they are hard to find those. Because you cannot melt, melt the iron or anything. After you pick up those, you go to this little store. This is what you can return. Three emeralds for four, one diamond for ten, twenty, two for twenty, three for thirty, so on and so on. And use the gold to buy armor. Now the armor is good to fight against them. But for the story, you have to go into the wizard's hut, right here. And you have to find the keys. Now, I won't show you guys where the keys will be. You have to place the key in, unlock it, go to the basement. Now, and you have to do this all in one night. And then from here, you find the fire dragon, Alice. And you have to go here, find the key to free open this. And then you pull this, the machine would be off, and then you technically rescued. Okay. Alright. Then you technically rescued the dragon for the story. For this one, it's a guaranteed have to, though. After that, you get like a small mini boss battle. For the good ending, do not kill these two dragons. And after that, you get the final game I got so far. 
Which this one's the biggest one with the most characters. You, cause you would be fighting against the Hypno Dragon, which is right here. This one right here, the Hypno Dragon, the Gold Dragon, and the Diamond Dragon, and the Shadow Dragon, Water Dragon, and the Life Dragon again. Plus the Fire Assassin. Well, you guys can already know what the Fire Assassin, Water Assassin, and Dark Assassin. And also the Royal Knights and a failed experiment knight and some wizards and oh yeah the earth dragon too I guess and also the king's royal dragon slayers well fighters the dragon hunter the dragon rider and the dragon tamer now this one is actually quite more hard to do cause for this that's well this one's the main dragon from there, which is your friend. The reason why there's an arrow, because this guy would turn your friendly dragon into a dragon that would rip you to shreds. And I'm sorry if I talk too much during these, but I'm just telling you guys how these games work. In case ever anyone wants to make it into a natural game. But yeah. How this one works, this guy will stand on this edge, call in your dragon, and then that guy would turn her into this giant beast that would rip you into pieces. Now there's also allies I also placed that will help you, but you have to give them a certain thing. The footman, you have to find an iron sword. The knight, you have to give him a full iron armor, full knight armor. The archer, just give him a bow. And then the wizard, find him the potion he wants. Now, this might be a secret, but if you free the prisoner from the first game, you actually, he's actually the prince of the castle. Got thrown there by the king. You just have to give him the throne hat. Then the light assassin. Find him arrows of every element. And the miner, the dwarf. Find him the axe or sh hammer. How these guys work, the archer will actually you can tell him to distract or focus on taking care of one of these two, three dragons. The assassin, he will actually show you where all the assassins are. The dragon will actually keep distracting one other dragon, wherever one you choose. The knight and footman, you can order them to charge the royal knights. The Royal Knights, they don't kill you. They're literally only there to block you for not attacking the that wizard. Now the Failed Experiment Knight, you'll see a suit of armor in any corner. Just don't go near it or else he will attack you. Now that should say all the knights and stuff. Oh no, these three, the Dragon Hunter, he will try and kill you. The Dragon Rider, we try to ride your dragon so that wizard can turn that. The dragon tamer, same thing. But as soon as you get the assassin or the dragon, the then your dragon won't listen to the tamer. Then the water dragon and water assassin, there'll be a puddle of water in the middle of the floor. Don't go near it. Fire assassin, you see smoke. Go, don't go near it. Now the Shadow Assassin, you will not see him and he can actually make all these other assassins invisible. The Shadow Dragon, he'll be in a closet when you see ink or shadow things around it, don't go near it. And the rest is pretty much story. These two would just attack your dragon, this one will hypnotize your dragon to attack you. Now for this guy, he is technically just a side character you can rescue. Now, with all that out of the way, tell me to show you what the inside of this one looks like. Like you see, four to five, technically. All the closets, the basement where you find some of the tools you need. And all that, for the perfect ending, you have to smash all these bottles. Not, yeah, all those ones. And this, that was the basement, minus the locked room. Oh, and the Earth Dragon, 
When you see it all cracked, technically don't go near the cracked wall or the earth dragon will attack you. The armory, uh, cook room, up here should be the balcony and the table. Up here, the, where one wizard will be, and the library. Up here is the throne where you will find the cast throne for the castle. Now, this one after you beat all five knights, you can actually go into the game actually switched to a fighting game because you have to fight a boss and the boss is this dark knight and after you beat him and depending if you saved the prince if you didn't you don't have to really worry about these the fighting the second boss the devil king and his three minions you fight with him but if you did then you have to fight the devil king which is even harder because he will have the devil wizard and the devil wolves. And he will also turn your dragon into the devil to attack you. And also all these demon soldiers. For the perfect ending, like I said, save the prince and do not kill those two dragons. If you do, your dragon will forever be a demon. But, hey, at least you are the king. Princess Royal Knight. But yeah, that's technically all of them. Like, but I'll tell you what these soldiers are. The Demon Footman, the Demon Knight, the Demon Brute, and obviously the Demon Archer. With the Demon Wolf, the Demon King, which is technically the normal king, just he finally got his goal of becoming a demon. The Demon Wizard, and then the demon dragon. And that's technically all for my kingdom of hell. There's still one more s s mini game, one more Final Fantasy fan game I created. But yeah, leave a comment below if you guys would like to see this as a natural game. Eh. But then again, like I said, on my five lives in the dark, it would probably never happen because Again, off my Xbox. Oh yeah, just, oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> the Failed Experiment Royal Holy Guards. Technically, there's two ways to get rid of these guys. Grabbing those potions I showed you from down there and splashing it on them. But then you will get the evil ending because you technically become just like the king. And then you technically take over. But yeah, that's another way. These guys don't do anything. As soon as you turn them into a failed experiment, they will run away. And never to be seen again. Slowly, slowly dying. Oh then the life dragon. Failed experiment life dragon. You see a rotten food on the floor? Don't pick it up. Or else he will kill you from it. But yeah, that should be everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as well as I'll see you in the next one. Peace.